welcome back to Early Beach. So I am back up here in North Queensland at my parents' house. And I thought, you know, why not cook a lunch for my friends, for my family, and try and pass on some tips that might help you guys cook a bit better at home and you'll see some beautiful food and scenery along the way. So the lunch is tomorrow and today I'm doing the planning. I'm thinking I'm on the water, I can literally see the ocean right there. There's a lot of fantastic fish in the wet Sunday. So tomorrow morning, nice and early, I'll head to the fishmongers, see what I can get. So I'm already planning on a fish. Uh, I've got a beautiful barbecue out there. I'm thinking maybe some pitters, some flatbreads and definitely some beautiful salads and some dips and things like that to go along with. So today I'm gonna try and get ahead. So I'm gonna make the dough for my pita breads. I'm also gonna make the dips and I'm gonna make dessert. I'm gonna go very traditional with dessert and I think I'm gonna make a pavlova because you know, I'm in Australia. I love a pavlova. So here is the dough. I have kneaded it till it's nice and smooth and it's starting to feel quite springy. And now I'm gonna prove that overnight in the fridge in a container. So this will prove nice and slowly overnight. This is called retarding the dough. So it retards the yeast and actually gives it a more developed flavor. So you get more of a sour doughy flavor. You can even leave this dough in the fridge for up to five, six days. And it, it tastes real funky at the end. It's really cool. So with a pan of bread, I definitely want to have something to dip it into. So I'm going to do two different dips. One I'm going to prep now, and that's going to be a romesco dip. So that is almonds, charred red peppers, sherry vinegar or red wine vinegar. So it'll be a nice tangy, flavorful dip. And to contrast, I'm going to make a yogurt and herb dip. That'll be nice and creamy and cooling because it is super hot here. So that's a good balance of flavors. So for the pavlova, the biggest tip that I can give you is to make sure your egg whites are at room temperature. This helps them whip up a heck of a lot faster. So the best way to tell if your meringue is ready is to take a little bit between your fingers and rub it together. You shouldn't feel any grains of sugar. So here are our pavlovas. They've had about an hour in the oven and they are ready to go. They've got a nice crust on the outside but they're still soft on the inside, which is important for a pavlova because we don't want a meringue, we want a pav. So first things first, I've headed out to the shops. I've got all the produce fresh and ready. I basically just saw what was available on the shelves and picked that. And I also went to the fishmongers and I've got some really nice local nanny guy, which is a beautiful white flaky fish. So I'm gonna start on the fish straight away prepping that. So I decided to do the fish in papillon, which basically means in paper, like a little parcel. So I've sliced up some white onion and some cherry tomatoes and this will be the veg that goes inside the parcel with the fish. This kind of cooks it really gently, it steams it and is a perfect way to cook it on a barbecue. So here is our dough that has spent all night in the fridge. You can see that it has risen, it's pooed really nicely so now I'm going to shape it up, portion it up so it's ready to roll out and go on the barbecue later. So keeping it simple with the vegetables, just going to slice up some peppers and these baby zucchinis and then grill them really lightly. Mm -hmm. 
Look how gorgeous these little baby zucchinis are. We don't want to overcook them, just give them a little kiss on the grill so they start charring and wilting, getting rid of some of that moisture. They are going to be delicious. Now, I don't know if you can tell, it is so hot today. It's about 32 degrees, even more. And um, you know, the wind's coming from the north, so um, we're actually gonna eat inside in the air conditioning today because I don't think my guests would appreciate eating out here. It's just sticky. If you're from Florida, you know what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. The other salad starts out with a jalapeno pickle, so just lime juice, salt, and sugar. And the only two other ingredients are cucumber and avocado. Next up, some rock melon or cantaloupe. I'm gonna serve this with some pea shoots and also some fresh cheese. So I am gonna give burratas a go for this lunch. Now, obviously I did a, saw it being made at the agrarian, took a few tips. So fingers crossed this one works. It's my second go, first one didn't work. So I've got citric acid and rennet in the milk already. It's been setting, so it's now the curds are set. You can see that it's quite firm and jiggly. And the way we check is we do a little split and lift it up to make sure it's a, um, a clean cut. So you can see there, we're ready to start cutting the curds. So burrata is this incredibly decadent Italian cheese that's very similar to a mozzarella. It's basically a cheese casing that is filled with a creamy cheese filling. It's absolutely incredible. It's quite a process to make and I'm so pleased that I have finally got this process down. success as you can see I've made two beautiful little burratas look at them so all the filling is inside here and I've knotted it at the top so when we slice it open it'll just spill out with all the cream and stretch it'll be beautiful so they're just gonna hang out in a little whey solution in the fridge until it's time to serve look at this one this one's a big boy Ooh, so cute I'm very lucky, I've got a little prep fridge. So I've got all my prep organized in here. So when the guests arrive, it's very easy for me just to come down, pop it all out, I'll show you now. So I have got the fish ready to go, the burrata and the melon salad. Then down here, I've got my two dips, I've got the avocado and the cucumber salad, and then uh, some beautiful sangria that mum's made. So everyone will stay hydrated in this weather. <laughs> Linda, Hello. this is Haley's mom. Here we've got Ash and Brian. This is this is my father. Hello, hello. say hello. This is Jeffrey. And there's Haley again. What are you doing here? Talk me through this. I am stretching out the pita dough. So I had to pull it out a bit earlier and let it come to room temperature. So that makes it nice and stretchy. And now I'm going to pop that on the barbecue. And on 
the barbecue, we're gonna head inside and start planning up the salads. on the fish. So you can see in here you want it to be nice and opaque and you want it to start flaking. So we are looking perfect. lunch, beautiful people, beautiful view. I hope you enjoyed watching this little video from my hometown, Ellie Beach. <laughs>